shows and have been coming, they are more excited and they love yeah. laughing and they are they are coming in there to see who they can meet new and they don't come to just complain about who they went out with last week. Uh, and there is such a positivity and there's so much hope in the people who want to date whether it's online, offline, wherever you are, I think that this is a big year. And I think that we needed a little bit of a uh, uh, a break that we got last year, a forced break to to rethink about what was important to us and what we're looking for. And so yeah. I think that's the reset. I think that is the, the great dating reset. And we will look back on... Um, 2020 and 2021 21 is sort of pivotal years in terms of all of our, you know, personal growth. And I think it's going to be in a good way. I really do. Yeah. And the reset is the appreciation. And I think that's something also to really hold on to, you know, write, write down those things that you appreciate. You know, what are the things that you love? What, what do you want for your life? What are the negotiables and non-negotiables? Like this is your time to redefine basically what you what you want what you're looking for and who you attract uh, but you have to move to your point because no one changes by staying stagnant and and the stagnance is often the fears and so like what can you do to get over those fears and there's so many of them and once you and and uh sort of a a, a signal to know that you're past those fear is if you're out with somebody or you're around somebody and they sneeze and you just say thank you I think you're beyond the fear and you're not like, Oh my God. You know? Right. Right. I Embrace think, it. Appreciate bring back it. The gesundheit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, if somebody just sneezes and you don't even think about it the way, the way we have been thinking about it, like, Oh my God, we're all going to die. Um, <laughs> I think that's what a good that? I know. So <laughs> the sneezed. so my thing is uh, everybody hopefully learns to appreciate uh, a good sneeze. Um, once in a while, um, there was an anchor man on the news here this morning, and in the middle of reading his report and reading the teleprompter, he just couldn't hold it in, and he sneezed very, very loudly. And I didn't think, like, oh, my God, that guy's sick. I thought, oh, my God, what a weird – that's going to go viral because it was such a big sneeze on the middle of the newscast. <laughs> and I thought that was a big moment that I was like, oh, you know what? He'll probably be fine, but I bet he wishes he didn't sneeze like that. Um, so the sneeze will save us all. The sneeze will save us all. That's all we need is a good sneeze. Yeah. It is, it, but it is, it's perception, right? It, yeah. it, we, I think, are now hopefully going to go through the world. It's the same world, but we have a different pair of glasses on and yeah. we're seeing it through a different lens. We can still offer her the handkerchief when she cries and, uh, and, and, and hope and take back, we will take back her germs. Yeah, and then if you're a lady, just drop the handkerchief and see if the guy picks it up for just you. Drop it. Yeah, they shouldn't be like, ew, gross, you know? Right, Don't and don't crinkle it up and throw it at him. Right, like, so, right? like this, we're still flirting, we're right. still accepting. Right, so slowly um, get used to uh, each other's germs again. I think that's a good thing. I think that's literally a good thing for us physically to tiptoe back into the germy world again. Uh, dating is all about germ sharing. It's all about germ yeah. sharing, and we're going to have to do that. Germ um, swap. Germ swap. Are you ready to germ swap? Are you ready to swap yeah. some germs? Is is a good opening line for the right person on Bumble. You like that? Do you want to yeah. swap germs? Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to take some of my germs? I think that's a good line. You try that out there, great love listeners, and get back to me. The person who appreciates that is the person for you. Yeah. And there's the advice in the great love debate. There you go. Germ swap. <laughs> uh, all right, Kimmy Love. I know you're very busy, and you got to go uh, do other um, lesser podcast. So tell everybody where they can find you. Well, you can pretty much find me everywhere that says Kimmy Seltzer, K-M-M-Y Seltzer. Um, KimmySeltzer.com is my website and all my social media handles are Kimmy Seltzer. But my podcast is not Kimmy Seltzer. It is Charisma Quotient. So if you want to uh, head, head over there and Brian, you need to come back on soon and hear Brian too. I mean, I guess. If you want was a, to, was I know a, you're like a, really big right now. Half, but. That was a half-hearted invitation. <laughs> uh, all right. Good to see you, uh, Kimmy Love. Your hair looks very blonde. So good job. Oh, oh, thank you. I, I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm, I'm yeah. getting some grays, I think. Yeah. But it yeah. looks like highlights, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well, you're a mom. We expect some grays. Right. Uh, as far as us, <laughs> like, share, subscribe. And as always, please review not just this podcast, but you can go ahead and review Charisma Quotient as well. Um, shoot us an email, greatlovedebate at gmail.com if you have any thoughts about the great dating 
reset. Uh, check out our live tour schedule. We do have some shows on there, and I'm considering some adding some other ones. Um, but again, as we talked about in the last show, our priority is given to the cities who we got postponed, uh, who the tickets were on sale and the show was on sale, and then they had to shut it down. So we owe those cities some shows, and, and we'll get back to you. Because as always, at the Great Love Debate, we never stop seeing we never, I, I forgot. We See, never I got, stop making love. Good job, Kimmy Love. See you next time.